Hello, Amar. Hello. <laughs> Great to connect again. Yeah. Yes, really wonderful. Thank you so much for uh, taking the time to meet with me. Mm. Well, with so I'm curious. I'm curious where you are at the moment in this recognition seeking. What's going on? <sighs> um, I feel like I have been uh, really investigating this, uh, mm -hmm. like almost every day, and. It somehow it feels like, um, like I feel like every time I investigate, things become a little bit more clear. It's like they're becoming just a bit more clear, and then there's there's been several moments where it's like, oh, okay, okay, and then I feel like I'm seeing a little bit clearer than before, but I still feel like there's something I'm missing, and it feels like the way I was thinking about it is like as if there was like this veil over my eyes and it's like almost transparent it's like I can kind of see shapes moving on the other side but it's not completely clear yet and I just want to like mm -hmm. I just want mm -hmm. to see I just want to see but I I cannot fully see yet okay. and yet I kind of keep circling it's like I keep mm -hmm. approaching I feel like I'm close to the truth, but I, I'm not seeing it yet. <laughs> it's a great know. place to be. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. A and I I also feel that like the more I investigate, it's like things have start become clearer in my life. It's like I feel lighter. Like definitely there's this like problems are resolving themselves in a way, like problems I had even for many years suddenly I like feel lighter so uh, it's good but I still feel like I'm not there yet okay okay um, yeah. okay so let's let's look at that veil I like to, to look through the veil but let's look at the veil and I'm going yeah. to say a few words here okay and then you're gonna start noticing what's going on in you yeah yeah okay so we're gonna just yeah Approach it head on, like okay, right yeah. here, right now, when it's still and happening. Yeah. And don't, yeah. don't wait for anything. See, the yeah. thing is, when you are seeking, you are looking for something. Yeah. More. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. that is in a way of seeing what is. Yes. So, as you said, you notice that the veil arises, some kind of veil, and you're trying to yeah. look through the veil looking for something else. But it's the veil that is here that wants to be seen. Okay? Uh huh. Okay. Huh? So everything is so close. So yeah, close. Everything is so close. That as soon as we look a little bit, a tiny bit further, we are not looking at what is what is yeah. requiring attention. Okay? Yes, yes, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. So there is no separate soul. There never was a separate soul. There was never a doer, a chooser, a decider. There was never anyone here managing life outside of life happening. There has always been just life happening. There has always been this flow that is effortless, free. And it's exactly this right here and right now. Nobody's in charge. Nobody's managing. There's nobody outside of life looking at life. There is nobody outside of life making life happen. There's nothing other than this. Let's call it life. We call it this. We call it reality. Whatever you want. It's this. For some reason, I, it makes me want to cry. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> yeah. This. Yeah, it's always been just life flowing freely as experiences, as thoughts, as sensations, as colors, as sound, as senses, as everything. Nobody doing that. Nothing is doing that. 
sprinkle. I I feel like I can't say anything <laughs> after that. <laughs> what can I say? Is there a but or resistance or something like, oh, no, this can't be. That's what we're looking. It's a veil. I feel like at the beginning when I thought about this, there was a lot of resistance and like a fear uh arising but i have be but i have been work like uh th thinking about this and looking and looking and now it feels like like there's two parts uh -huh. <laughs> like one and it's like before they were kind of merged together like mm -hmm. this there was this immediate reaction of a thought saying like what do you mean i'm not in control of course i'm in control yada 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 and and now it's like I can see that, but I can see that it's a thought. And then I can see that there's this other thing, which is just life happening. And so it's like that resistance kind of softened uh, because I can see that there are two different things. Like one thing is like this story that, that kind of comes. And one thing is just what is happening and somehow what you say about what is happening just feels very true like it's true that is kind of just happening and it's nobody's making it happen uh, but I feel like yeah let's hear the bus I can let's kind hear the of see it, <laughs> but it's like it's like I feel like having a pond and for some reason, all these analogies come to me, but I feel like I'm in a pond and now I'm just looking, I'm finally like seeing the pond, like I can kind of see, but I'm not, I haven't like completely stepped into the pond yet. Like, uh, mm -hmm. like, um, uh, there's still, yeah, there's like, like a tiny bit of, of like resistance or fear of, or like, and so many stories like, you know, I really want to be a good person or improve myself or do the right thing or whatever. And then if I accept that it's just life happening, then I, it's like, uh, I don't know, like I would lose that mission or whatever it is. <laughs> oh, well, everything... <laughs> has always been the same. Yeah, that so, feels very true. There is only pond. It's behind you, look at that in the picture. <laughs> That's so cute. Anyway, there is only this. There's never been anyone who could be outside of the pond. There is nobody that can come into the pond. Yeah. There has always been just a pond. Why is it so scary? Mm. Let's look at that fear. Okay. It's like the Feel self it. is afraid to die or something. Yeah, let's look at that fear. It's okay. What do you feel? Where in the body is that sensation? It's like in the chest. It's like a mm -hmm. tightness in the chest. Just close your eyes for a moment. Feel it. It's okay to feel it. It is safe to feel it. Notice that. Yeah. Let it be. Yeah. Feel that emotion or that energy 
I see you. I see you. You are here. You are welcome. Thank you for what you are doing for me. Thank you for protecting. Yeah. And what is there behind that sensation? What is there that this fear is guarding or protecting? Just take a look a little bit. I don't know. I, I think what comes to mind is that the world is such a scary place. It's like things are never what they should be. And somehow it's like somehow this self or this mm -hmm. wanting to control is tied to this, this idea that, uh, that I don't know this maybe sounds a bit strange but that things are not good but at least at least I can be good myself like I can make good myself like everything else is obviously just dangerous and confusing and nobody knows what's going on but uh, Okay. But at least I have this tiny bit of control to make things good. <laughs> and so, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> Let's look at that. Who is there that wants things good? Who is there? Who's there that is good and doesn't want to lose this goodness? This is just a thought, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look till you know. Don't guess. Okay. Who's there that wants to be good and does not want to lose goodness? Yeah, it's like a, like a story or like a thought. Right. Yeah, it's like a story. There's a story. Mm -hmm. Are you the story? Uh, I don't oh. know what I am. <laughs> <laughs> but definitely not a story. <laughs> no. Okay. I don't know what I am. I I was also this, I had like this, so felt like a realization yesterday because you know, I just most of the time, most during the time during the day, I'm just, I have this story about me living my life and I have these things I want to accomplish and these things I want to avoid. And and it, it really, and also the culture, right? It's like, we're so used to thinking about, we are this little entity doing things. And it really feels like, like I'll just give you a silly example. Like mm -hmm. you know, maybe I'm I'm trying to date or trying to find a partner or whatever, and it really feels like like I'm on this like I'm choosing freely choosing to do this, and I'm like going through this whole process or whatever, and then I thought about and then it's like I just thought about it and it's like I didn't decide any of this. Like I didn't decide to like females. <laughs> or to what, crave female company or whatever. It's like, it's all a kind of a process just because of biology or whatever, because the species needs to continue or whatever. But it's so interesting that I didn't choose any of it. And yet I'm, I'm in my story, it is like, I'm free to pursue this whatever dating and find the woman that I really want to blah, blah, blah. But it's so, it's so strange, but you know what I mean? Yeah. Like you see it happening, but it's not a doing, it's a happening. Yeah. It's like I take ownership of it, of it, but 
I didn't. Uh, you don't even take ownership of it. You see the ownership happening. Yeah, like a story. Yeah, so there is a story. The story is about me, the main character, me. Yeah. And it's being yeah. told from the first perspective. Yeah. But are you creating the story or are you hearing the story? <sighs> uh, I don't think this me exists. <laughs> <laughs> there is a story about me, right? Yeah. Yeah, but I don't think that's what what's actually going on. Like the story is going on. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I exp I can experience the story because I experience these thoughts. But it's like the story is just a story, and what's going on is just it's different. <laughs> <laughs> It's what's going on. It's just what's going on. Right. It's so it's so weird. This is all so weird. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, you know, like uh, if you go to orchestra, just to listen to some music, and in the orchestra yeah. there are many many instruments, like this and that and the other, and you can tune in and to listen just to one instrument, yeah, or the other instrument, and then yeah. you can listen to the whole music and just. Yeah. Pay more attention to everything. Yeah. And in the end, all this piece is music. Like whatever yeah. we're calling that experience is music. Yeah. Huh? So this this experience is also like there's sound, there are colors, <laughs> and sensations, yeah, smell, taste, feelings, emotions, yeah. thoughts, images. It's like the whole experience. That's like music. The whole experience. And then we can tune in into like, oh, just visual or just listen. And everything else is still there in the background, but it's not, you pay, you're not paying attention to it. Or oh, feel your feet and then you notice the feet. And all the thoughts, all the stories. And the story is like a vocal singing a song. Everything is going <laughs> on, but this <laughs> song is <laughs> like, oh, this vocal. <laughs> so nice. Ah. But the whole thing is the music. It's just flowing freely. So the whole thing is about seeing this, seeing the music, like seeing the whole picture? Seeing that the voice in the head or the narration that is going on is part of the music, but it's not making the music. It's part of the music. It's showing up, it's happening on its own, by itself, but it's not yeah. controlling anything. Because I think there's still the the wish that it will go away. Like there's this maybe a bit of, still a bit of an expectation that it will stop. Oh, the, the thoughts will I stop? Will, or the story or whatever. And then I will go to a different reality where, <laughs> where oh, everything nice. will be peaceful or something uh but i guess what I, what you're saying is that uh it won't it won't no it the won't reality stop. is already this <laughs> <laughs> then what am i doing here looking for a fantasy <laughs> looking how uh, reality will fit into your little tiny fantasy how it should be but it is as yeah. it is yeah it is yeah. as it is yeah and it's so much more than what the blue mind can imagine. Yeah. So what is lost is just a belief in a fantasy. That's all. That's the price. Just the belief in a fantasy. Yeah, it's so weird. <laughs> it's just weird. <laughs> I just find it weird. <laughs> But at the same time, no. At the same time, it's it's like it makes it makes perfect sense mm -hmm. in some way. Mm -hmm. uh, so is the fear still there? I think 
is less less and less. Fear is actually a good sign. Because fear is like alarm. It's saying, oh, don't go there. You haven't been there before. You don't uh -huh. know what will happen. What if this happens and we don't know what to do? Yeah. It's, it's just a landmark, a sign. Like, yeah, that's it. That's where we go. You see what's <laughs> behind. What's behind the veil or fence or wall. And what's here? It's already here. Yeah. Yeah, it's already here. <laughs> uh, I think there is still like a, a a layer of identification in the like it's not as loud, like it's getting quieter and quieter, but it's still like a a bit of owning still mm -hmm. happening. Mm -hmm. So what do you own? I don't know, life. You own life? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I want to own something. <laughs> uh, yeah, what do you own? My, my life, my life. Uh, oh, your life. When was this life given to you? When I was born. Yeah, I don't know how 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 I have this life. <laughs> uh, It's so stupid to say I own life. Like, obviously, I don't own my life. Like, <laughs> then what do you own? <laughs> <laughs> what do I own? Like myself. Uh huh. Great. Like a, a self that's inside of life. Uh huh. So what is what is the self that you are? And what is the owner? Know. It can do things. Ah. It can move. And it can make decisions. So what is the self that can make decisions? No. It's like a story. It's like a story. Yeah. But I, I feel like I don't know how to live without that story. Well, that story doesn't go anywhere. You just know that it's a story. Uh. <laughs> okay. I, I really like this Santa character. Do you know Santa Claus? <laughs> yeah. Did your parents made you believe that he's real? Yeah, I remember my dad was so annoyed when I was like, I don't know, seven or something, because I was like asking him all these questions. Like, how is it that he gets to deliver a gift to every child child in the world? Like, I was just really badgering him to like explain everything logically to me until he gave up. It's like, okay, it's not real. It's not real. Just stop asking questions. Oh, wow. <laughs> so what happened to the Santa then? <laughs> I think I was just pissed at my parents. I was like so sad. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Maybe because I already knew, like maybe I kind of knew that it wasn't real, but I was pissed that my parents had made it up or something. Yeah, I was angry too because I realized that parents lied to me. Yeah. Like, come on. 
ah, you, yeah. you are three people I should trust and you are lying to me about it. Yeah. <laughs> something. And then I go in the school and everyone knows that I believe some <laughs> story. <laughs> That's not true. Yeah. How bad is that? Yeah. But what happened to the Santa, to the real Santa? What happened to the real Santa? Oh. Nothing. I mean, he was never there. Right. So the story of Santa still exists. We can talk about Santa. Yeah. <laughs> we have Christmas with Santa. Oh. We can have oh feelings about Santa. <laughs> but you okay. know that Santa is not real. Oh it's, God, that's Santa so weird. doesn't go anywhere. He was never there. That's the story so weird. is. I know. <laughs> The self is like Santa. Yes. <laughs> so weird. <laughs> yeah, the self uh, is not there. But I feel like I'm... I feel like the my relationship to the self is changing because yeah, I feel like I'm more able to see life and to see how the self is like a story that the mind is creating. But I'm still I still don't see that it's not real completely. Like before maybe it was everything like all of my world was colors to the story and now it's like okay that's just like a tiny bit of life but that tiny bit still feels real somehow like i don't even know what it means to say self is not real okay when we when we say word self it's a, a abbreviation the full thing would be a separate self in control of life A separate self in control of life. A person that we assume ourselves to be in control of life. But I mean, something makes decisions, right? Like, like this arm is just not, it's not moving on its own. Like there is a, or or if I have to make a, a choice, like whatever, if I. Okay, let's play to... this little tiny, tiny exercise. <laughs> okay imagine here in my hands there there is yeah. a blue pill and a red pill blue pill uh -huh. and a red pill just, okay just for fun <laughs> yeah, yeah okay so yes. do you choose the blue pill or the red pill uh let's say i choose a red pill the red pill okay yeah now you yeah. chose it and you say i chose this it's yeah i chose it yeah how did that choice happen Uh, yeah, I don't know. Something, a thought came mm -hmm. that I won the red pill. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you could notice some that things I'm going to pick. Something came in, then the words yeah. say red, and then yes. it says, yeah, I chose this. Now, if the words say, if the thought comes in and says blue, you would still say, I chose this. Yes, but it's a story. <laughs> so how the choice happens? It happens. There is a situation. There is there there are exits out of situation. So the the answer is already embedded in the situation. And then whatever feels right, you feel something. A thought comes in. A sensation comes in. The words come out, and then the ownership is over the top. I chose this. It doesn't matter what's chosen or not. So that I chose this is added on. Yeah, I feel like this is the hardest part for me. Yeah. 
because like a big part of the story of the self is about this, I guess, this ability to decide and take responsibility for what you decide and, and all of these things. And Hi, ah, it's like it's like there's this thought that it would be like cheating. Like if I say <laughs> if I say, well, I'm not in control, uh I mean it's just life happening. So I mean, well, so then I could just do whatever I want because it's just like happening. I don't have to take responsibility for anything. <laughs> I could just go out and do whatever I want. You know, I can be a criminal or I can uh, uh, do drugs or I can <laughs> kill people or, well, I'm not going to kill people. But uh, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot about the story feels like it's necessary because of kind of moral reasons like maybe this is also from childhood it's like we are told that you have to behave in the right way and this is very important that you are a good person and that you do the right thing and all of this is part of the story of the self because you can decide like if you do bad or you do good then that's that's like the you're deciding something important so that is very Like, I don't know how I would live without that. Let's break this down, okay? <laughs> so okay. so there is this little child born into a family. And the family lives yeah. by their rules, by their code, by their values, yeah. and by their beliefs. So that little yeah. child is absorbing and learning about environment, about life, about relationships, about everything from early, yeah. early days, unconsciously. So all this programming yeah. about being a good boy, doing good things, not hurting others, and don't cry, yeah. and life is hard, yeah. it's, it's, it's good, imprinted. It's good programming, right? Programming is like, programming, you know, either it's helpful, practical, <laughs> or, or it's useless and in a way, but it's programmed, it's neutral. It's not doing anything, it's not an entity. It's just all these so, programs are running. And they wouldn't stop running because you see that they are running on their own. these programs don't change uh, they were not controlled but what about so okay some of it is programming and maybe you have no say in it but what about later in life uh when you feel inspired by someone or whatever and you say well i really want to be this way because i find it inspiring in a, in a good direction hmm? <laughs> or whatever See, it's not about having control or not having control it's not about i had control and now i'm going to lose it it's not about that it's not about becoming right. powerless or no control or no self-control or no responsibility <laughs> or nothing uh -huh. it's not about that it's about seeing that there is nobody yeah. there to have or not to have control and there was never anyone there they have or not to have control and yet life goes on and things get done and everything is happening i 
like right here, right now. Right here, right now. That's always the place to look for it. Oh, add it. It's right here, right now. I don't know. This uh, thought came. Uh -huh. Like, I, I feel like it's a, it's a strange thought, but I feel like so much about that. Yeah, that conditioning to be good is it's really about punishment. I mean, not, not all of it, but a lot of it is like, if you're not good, then you'll be punished. And this is how you learn. And then there's this thought in my head, like, well, if there is no nobody to be punished, how like if there's no self that can be punished, how are you going to learn? You know, it's so cruel, actually. It's really cruel thought. <laughs> Uh, I hear you and it's an old program the oh fear of God. being punished the fear of doing wrong the fear of making a mistake fear of failing fear of being wrong because yeah. if you're not good and you're not going to get love it's like we internalize. I mean, I inter I've internalized these things. Yeah. Oh, God. So the mind creates this image in, my, in the mind, in the imagination. There is an image of perfection, of being a good person. I really want to be a good person. <laughs> But that's kind of prison. Well, it's really saying I'm not good enough. Yeah, it's true. What if you are already good enough? What you what if you already are pre approved? <laughs> you are here. Experiencing life, experiences what is what it's like to believe that you are not enough or that you need to be good to deserve love. Your own love. Oh my god. That's such an insane story. I can't believe I've been living with that my whole life. That's such an insane story. So cruel. Oh my God. Why are we like this, like humans? Why do we do this to ourselves, <laughs> to our children and to everyone? I know any better. Yeah. It's innocent. That's the thing with the patterns or this programming or conditioning is that it runs unconsciously and we don't know. We don't know yeah. until we see it. And when we see it, if it's not helping, it falls away. You, you can't harm yourself consciously. You can't do something so, that is not working consciously. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, I can be a good person, but I don't need this story about. Well, what if uh, you're already good? <laughs> yeah. What if you are enough as you are? What if you are authentic, unique? You feel and express and everything is valid. And it's true to you. And that's well, well, absolutely well, enough. It's freedom. Well, celebrating. <sighs> And celebrating for others as well. Because when the mind creates an image, it says, oh, this image is me. This image needs to be maintained, perfected, and it has to be perfect. Anything other than that is wrong, and there's something wrong with me, and I have to try hard and seek and achieve. And It's very heavy. 
how much energy is going into maintaining an image. But when the mind sees, actually it knows long time ago that that image is not reality. That image is not what you are. But for it to play its game, it has to be believed. Otherwise, game over. You're free. You're free to express and live and enjoy and cry and be sad and be angry <laughs> and whatever is coming up in the moment authentically. Uh. And honestly, you, what these programs that are already installed, they continue running. You're not going to get out of character and go start doing crazy things. I know. I know. Yeah. So the fear of the fear that is controlling that is not needed. This uh, feels so good <laughs> for some reason. It's like, I feel like I was taking a shower or something. Like, I feel like it's cleaning. Yeah. Cleaning out so much stuff. Yeah. So everything that is no longer working, helpful, needed, everything that is in the way of expressing, feeling authentically, truly, is very, very welcome to just fall away effortlessly on its own. Just like leaves of the tree in the autumn. Poof. Yeah. It's not needed, it falls away. Wow. Wow, I never realized I had so much freedom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's like I've been putting myself in a cage for years for no reason. Mm -hmm. Like I just put myself there. You didn't. That cage was given. And the door is given too, and it's always been there. <laughs> yeah. Because we are said, well, stay in the cage, don't look through the door. You look through the door, you don't know what will happen. We'll never approach that door until something yeah. from beyond starts knocking and says, "Come, come." There is, there is another way. That that longing or that desire for freedom or truth starts knocking and says, "Come." Let's look at it. Don't have to stay in this prison. If there is no prison. I don't know what to say. I like this uh, little quote by Rumi. And it's so short and sweet. It says, Why do you stay in prison when the door is so wide open? It's about this. That you don't have to. I don't want to say. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Just feel. Just notice what's going on in the body. Whatever wants to happen is, is already happening. I 
it's okay to let it all go away. That story is not you. I just, I feel so sad for everyone else. Like everybody who's also living in this prison. I don't understand. Sorry. <laughs> How do I know if I uh, if I when I'm done? <laughs> <laughs> when I've seen myself, I don't know. <laughs> Well, when you know, you know. Nobody can tell you. It's like, come on, this is so obvious. How could I ever believe something else? That's that's how you know. I feel like everything is becoming clear and clear, but I don't know what's the end of the the difficult process. It's just the beginning. <laughs> well, it's a good beginning too. Yeah. Okay. There is more opening, more and no more and no more. Really? Yeah. It's just the beginning. Like, welcome to the ride of your life. Wow. Yeah, there's a continuous, let's say, integration, continuous expansion, continuous realization, deepening. But for now, don't don't even think about that. Just let this settle in. And everything is unfolding on its own by itself already. So don't need to do anything about it. What needs to come, comes. What needs to fall away, falls away. What needs to stay, stays. But you are here. See, the colors are here, sounds are here, everything is here, you are here, you're seeing it, experiencing it, feeling it. <laughs> Nothing dies. No one dies. Nobody loses control. It's 
then nobody was there. Nobody was there, but like decisions were being made, and and they will continue being made. Being of course, about. they will continue being made. Yeah, situation arises. There are exits, this, that, or the other, and you know which one is right, and then it's happening. That doesn't change. Nothing changes. See, if I was saying to you that I am controlling the weather, I am moving the clouds, I am making them rain, I know which cloud in which place at what time is going to rain, how much water, and you tell me, you know what, this is just stupid. It's nature. Nature knows what to do and it's not needing in need of any controllers. But I would say, no, no, I am doing this. I am. Look at that. There's a cloud now. I'm going to move it that way because it's moving that way. It's easier, right? <laughs> I'm moving <laughs> it that way. And you say, no, no, it's just moving. And then I'm going like, huh? True. It is just moving. I didn't lose control. I never had it. There was always nature, forces of nature, laws of nature. Everything is already happening. The belief on top of it all says, and I'm doing this. But if you take that belief off, nothing changes. Everything is still happening. Yeah. Yeah. And these thoughts may still come up and it's fine. You see them as thoughts. An old story coming up to be seen. <laughs> it it feels weird living without this story. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's been like the lens that I've seen everything through for so many yeah. years. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Now let this settle and let's meet again, maybe in a week or something. Okay. And we'll see how this settles and what else needs <laughs> to be seen. Okay. <laughs> uh, thank you so much, Ilana. Really, uh, I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for doing this. Mm. You're very welcome. And thank you everyone for watching. If you have <laughs> oh <laughs> questions. <my> <laughs> no, oh, Just put so them in the guys. comments. That's okay. Uh, and crying. Omar, if this is too personal for you, we don't have to post it, honestly. I don't care anymore. Yay. <laughs> I, I mean, <laughs> I really don't care. Okay. I really don't. <laughs> Maybe a month ago or something, I would have been subconscious, but I, I really don't care. <laughs> well, thank you so much for your openness to share this. <laughs> yeah, I hope it can help someone. Okay, and thank I'll see you next week. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> thank you. Bye.